sinon, et la journée, ça se passe? Ça se passe bien. Je suis bien contente de, de te voir, de mettre un visage sur le prénom et puis d'avoir de, de, l'opportunité aussi de faire cette entrevue. Ah, mais bien sûr. Un petit peu le désordre derrière moi, mais bon. T'inquiète surtout pas. T'inquiète surtout pas. Je pense que le désordre, bon, c'est partout ces temps-ci. <rire> c'est partout avec euh, le travail et euh, l'école et tout. Donc, on n'a pas, pas beaucoup de temps pour, euh, pour s'occuper de certaines choses. Mais quand même, ça va. <rire> ouais. et, euh, et la journée, ça se passe bien là-bas? Oui, ça se passe très bien. Tout va bien. C'est vraiment tranquille. Il pleut depuis ce matin, donc... Euh... On a le temps de se poser un petit peu, de ne pas faire de choses élaborées. Oui, ouais, ça c'est ça, ça bien. Ça, c'est tout le temps bien. Moi, le week-end, je suis là, relax, à faire un peu d'exercice et tout. Ça, c'est bien. Oui, oui, oui. Ouais. Et les enfants, ils vont bien? Oui, ça va, ils vont bien. Tout se passe bien. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Donc, on attend juste, euh, on attend juste Awa. Oui, elle va se connecter tout de suite. On était en train de parler d'ailleurs. Ah, d'accord, d'accord. D'accord, donc on, on le temps, temps et puis euh, on voit comment. <rire> Alors, euh, comme vous le savez déjà, my name is May from the African Dream and I'm based in the United States, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. And today, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have Awa and Amina, they are co-founders for the organization Black Women Market, and for now, they are actually based in Canada. So today, what we will be doing is asking them about the organization. What we'll be doing is asking them about what drove them to become an entrepreneur, how they are funding the organization, um, how did the name come to them, and we will be asking a little bit more personal questions how their day is going and how they are managing the successful network, ask for some tips and advice. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Awa, you go first. <laughs> Thank you, Mai, for giving, giving us the chance to talk about our project today. So my name is Awa and um, I live in Canada since five years now. I am a mother to three children and um, I have my, my own company. Um, I have a brand of organic um, uh, body and hair products. And uh, I also work for the government here as an advisor in immigration. And uh, I am also the co-founder of the Black Woman Market. That's okay. Really, really nice to meet you, Awa and Amina. <laughs> Hi, Maimuna. Hi, Awa. Thank you, Maimuna, for having us today. So, um, my name is Amina. I am based in Canada. I am um, a mother, a wife, and I am also an entrepreneur. I uh, create um, perfumes for um, home and body. And I'm also an IT professional. With AWA, uh, we have founded a Black Woman Market too. Okay, that's, that's really, really great to hear um, such resume for Black women, especially uh, from Senegal, right? And IT have their wives, moms and they have their own organization. So um, my first question for you to today is, um, how did the idea for the organization come to you? I can, I can answer that question. <laughs> so with Amina, we met at a fair and where, um, where we, each one of us had her own booth. And uh, we were really surprised because we paid for, I mean, we paid for a booth, but we didn't have any customers dur during that fair. So um, we were a little bit disappointed and we just thought that it was not fair for, you know, after going through all we've been through, just not um, having people to just discover and uh, try our products. And we just thought that it would be good to, 
just start start a little something you know just, uh, to help other women just like us to to get to to be discovered by customers here mm -hmm. so that's very much how we started that is that is a very very noble decision that you took wanted to actually get out there not only for you but for the other for the other black women i personally yeah, thank absolutely. you very much for doing that actually <laughs> and um, the other one will be like um what actually what was your key driving force to actually become an entrepreneur what made you become an entrepreneur other than the fact that you actually wanted to get out there and help other women? Your personal goal, what drove you? I mean, uh... um, for me, um, first of all, I, um, I had the opportunity to be creative in my career, career and in my everyday life. I love creating uh, whatever it is, creating new things. And at some point, I uh, kind of realized that I had uh, a lot to share with the world, a lot to share with other women, other men too. And I decided to create something just to share it with the world. Okay. Okay. That, that is really, really good to always think of. So Black Women Market is the name of your organization. What made you choose that specific name? Well, we chose a black woman market for um, two reasons. First of all, um, our target is first black woman market. We want them to recognize, recognize more uh, what other black women are doing within the community and we want them also to invest more the dollars that they are taking out there into uh, our businesses uh, as black women mostly and black people so that's the, the market is the tar the first target is black women and also the other reason is because uh our mentioned it we um we did connect a lot into uh, at some events. We found there a lot of black women creating products, creating, um, offering services that we use every in our everyday life and you know, in our household. So it is a market that targets black women. We want them to invest more of their money in our community. And also we want other black women to have more visibility to get discovered and to showcase their product to the whole world. Yeah, that's, that's really, really good. Awa, do you have something to add about that? I mean, uh, I, yeah, I, um, I agree with everything I mean, I just said, uh, and uh, I think it came very naturally. We didn't even think a lot to find that name. It was just so, you know, it, it was the name that we did um, the kind of activities we wanted to, to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did it for a woman who looked just like us. So it just made, made sense when we, when we choose that name. Absolutely. Definitely. It's actually really, really good. The fact that you want the dollar to actually stay within us. We're creating product for us Black women because we have a type of skin that nobody else has. So we have to protect that and we want our dollars to stay within us. It is really noble. So talking about the organization, um, celebrating, um, creating events and all of that, it actually needs money. It takes time. So how are you funding the organization? Um, so take part to our events. Um, all the um, participants, not the participants, but the, the um, entrepreneurs have to pay a fee. So basically it's through that piece that we, uh, that we pay, um, that we support our organization. Uh, we have also um, projects we're working on with, uh, um, let's say, um, public organizations here, and uh, we uh, we have various um, 
various goals to 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 have funding from do, these organizations but for now we only um, uh, find um, our income from the events we, we do okay okay i see so the people who actually want to showcase their product when they come to you they have actually have to pay a fee and it's with that yeah. fee that you guys are funding the organization in order to organize more events for for other for other people it really it makes sense it makes sense and so my thing is you need a network you need a client base, even though it is an organization, it's not a business for now, you need a client base. So how are you building that successful network? How are you marketing the black woman market so that other women feel safe in order to come and showcase their product with you? Well, we are on social media. We are very present on social media and um, on Instagram and Facebook mainly. And also we, um, we do research on um, in directories, in var various direct di directories. And then we, uh, we, connect, we contact directly from black women entrepreneurs and from men too. We also, it's easy for them to connect with us when they see ads. Yeah. And we also, um, the third one is also going to events uh, in the area to connect with them, to share with them the spirit of Black Women Market, to share with them the information. And also, I've noticed that um, many of the Black women that, are, um, that already know about the Black Women Market share the information in the network group. I see. So it's all about networking. It's all about contacting people. That's how you guys are um, creating a successful network. It is really, really smart. So I'm not actually going to ask about the culture of the organization because you answered that question at the first beginning. It's all about Black women. It's all about showcasing their product. So we're going to jump to a little bit of more personal questions. Um, I am going to ask you this, Awa, how many hours do you work on average a day? How many hours do you work? <laughs> 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 well, a lot of I, I don't count my the, the the time that I spend working because I work a lot. Having a full time job and a company doesn't allow you to have much time for yourself. Or, mm -hmm. but I would say around ten hours a day, something okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. It is really, really good. No more a lot like sleeping until 11 or sleeping until 8. No, we oh, actually got to get going. Got to get that money and become an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Amina, um, you said in your introduction that you were wife, you are a mom, and you are an entrepreneur. So has becoming an entrepreneur affect your family life as a Black woman? Um. Yes, yes, it has uh, affect. It did affect. It's affecting my life on a daily basis mm -hmm. in a positive way. Good. I would say it has forced us as a family to reorganize our things. Mm -hmm. My uh, husband, that I thank, uh, take more um, take more responsibility when it comes to taking care of my daughter. Yes. And also, um, I, uh, I also managed to organize better myself so I can be there for them. Mm -hmm. And it has, I would say it has, um, it made me, uh, as I got more organized, mm -hmm. I also started developing certain qualities that are benefit uh, to the family. In uh, the negative side, I spend more, less time with uh, with the family, but they understand that it's um, 
because I'm doing something that I like, something that I love. And I can see that it inspires them. It, it inspires my daughter, for example. And it also it impacts my husband. It inspires him. That is really, really good. Because all we need as women is a partner who actually can understand us. That's all we need. That's all we ask for. And it's really good that you actually have that with your husband taking care of the kid, taking care of your daughter. And you actually will become your daughter's motivation because she will always be looking up to you, be like being like, my mom is actually my hero. It's really, really good. Shout out to your husband. I respect him for that. So since we actually don't have a lot of time, so... Awa, can you just tell me, do you believe that there are some sort of pattern of becoming a successful entrepreneur? Does it take some sacrifice? Is there a route that we need to follow if we want to become an entrepreneur? Yes, I definitely think that uh, successful entrepreneurs have uh, more or less the same, the same skills when it comes to uh, sacrificing uh, the, the time, getting involved in uh, in all the aspects related to, to to the growth of the company. Uh, I think there are always people who don't uh, uh, who are not uh, afraid of failure and who are able to get up when they face uh, difficult times in their life. Uh, I think uh, successful entrepreneurs also dedicate good part of the time to researching and uh, training because it's necessary necessary when uh, if, if you really want your company to, to go to a next level and um, I also think that there are people who are patient so these are I believe the the, um, the main skills <laughs> we have to work on when we are on Okay. okay it's it's really good so we the li life is all about sacrificing even more if you want to be a successful um successful entrepreneur so um Awa, what do you like the most becoming an entrepreneur <laughs> mm, the fact that um I never know what is coming on the day. I, I am always meeting new people and uh, um, it's a journey. Becoming an entrepreneur is, it's like your life. It brings a lot of, you know, uh, surprises to you on a daily basis. And uh, that's what I like the most. The fact also that, your paycheck is different from day to day. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is really motivating also. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's always good to do new things, meet new people, take risks and not yeah. knowing what's going to what's gonna come next. And um, Amina, what has been your most satisfying moment in this organization, Black Women Market? What has been your most satisfying moment? There have been so many, <laughs> but the most one is uh, when I received um, a painting art uh, portrait of myself from one of the entrepreneurs of the network as a recognition, recognition, recognition for um, dedication and services. Absolutely. But there have been many... Uh, Many uh, great moments. That's All the great. events we've uh, we've organized have been successes. Whenever we meet with um, and with a black woman, the mm -hmm. story is so inspiring. Yeah. Um, there have been a lot of, and uh, I have to say something too. I have to mention that the first time I met Awatu was one of those moments. Oh, that's that's really, <laughs> that's really really sweet of you. So, um, I mean, what advice do you give to a college graduate like myself <laughs> who actually wants to be a who actually wants to be an entrepreneur? Because 
Just so you know, I'm about to graduate. I have not graduated yet. I'm about to, and I want to be an entrepreneur. So what advice do you have for people like us? That's my favorite subject. First of all, I would say, dream big. We have a problem, especially as immigrants. When we just cross the ocean and we bring, and we come to America and we graduate and we have a car and an apartment or a house, we take it like a garage and we just stop there. First of all, dream big. I know myself, I have been dreaming a lot when I was a student to just take that elevator and work for a company and, and just, you know, <laughs> arrive at 10th floor and just sit at a desk. That's not a dream. That's something that, that's too small for us. If we want to, to become better people, if you want to impact people, if you want to recreate the narrative, if you want to, to do something and leave this world better, we have to dream big. First and foremost, I will give just one advice dream big once you start dreaming you will find the avenues the tools and everything you need to achieve that dream but first use that imagination that is limitless to dream bigger bigger than yourself and bigger than what your parents have done for this absolutely. yeah absolutely and um our what are the three skills to become a successful entrepreneur Three different skills to become a successful entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, patience. Okay. Um, I would also say um, uh, curiosity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be curious. Be you know just research a lot on various subjects and. Uh, before choosing, just uh, take your time. Um, and um, what else? <laughs> uh, um, also, I would, I would say be bold. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> it's not an easy road. It's the, it's the, it's the hardest road you're, you, are, um, you, you are on your way to start. So mm -hmm. just be brave. Just be brave. So be brave, be bold. And Awa told me to dream big. So I will try to get those three together. I'm not sure if I will be, but I will try to dream big. I will try to be bold and I will try to actually take risk. So um, what are your... Um, Okay, so we actually gonna speak a little bit of French because we all from Senegal and you from Canada. So, uh, c'est c'est quoi votre mot de fin? C'est quoi votre mot de fin uh, aujourd'hui, Awa? Uh, D'abord, te remercier pour ton temps et te dire que tu es déjà uh, une personne à succès. Donc, uh, <laughs> puis ne sera que merveilleuse qu'elle ne l'est déjà. Et euh, elle sera à ton image. Et voilà, remercier aussi toutes les personnes qui vont regarder euh, cette vidéo et leur demander de partager le mot sur euh, mm -hmm. euh, le Black Woman Market. Absolument, voilà. absolument. Amina, c'est quoi euh, ton mot de fin? Euh, je vais faire comme Awa. D'abord, je vais te remercier pour ton temps, te mm. remercier de, de, nous, de nous donner l'opportunité aujourd'hui de discuter de ce qu'on qu aime le plus le Black Woman Market. J'aimerais aussi euh, demander à tous ceux, celles qui vont suivre cette interview et lire euh, l'article qui va être rédigé de nous suivre sur nos plateformes sociales Black Woman Market. Et euh, j'aimerais aussi euh, leur demander de euh, soutenir, soutenir et supporter encore plus le Buy Black, supporter le mouvement et s'engager à, euh, à ne pas donner des dollars de plus à ces femmes entrepreneurs noires, mais s'engager à les supporter parce qu'elles ont des histoires, des produits, des services de qualité, des choses qu'on utilise tous les jours dans la maison. Mais on ne se rend même pas compte qu'autour de nous, il y en a qui les créent. Donc, euh, 
d'être ouvert à l'idée de les supporter. Merci beaucoup, Awa. Merci beaucoup, Amina, de nous... De nous de m'avoir donné cette opportunité à parler avec vous. Vous êtes une bonne inspiration, très sincèrement. Vous venez du Sénégal, on vient plus du Sénégal, et puis vous êtes des femmes des, avec des maris, avec des enfants, mais ça ne, ça ne vous arrête pas. Ça ne vous arrête pas. Donc, uh, thank you so much for being an inspiration for us, the, the younger generation. And ladies and gentlemen, go and follow the Black Woman Market Facebook Instagram and everywhere. Make sure you contact them. Their contact number is there and they are everywhere. So thank you so much, Awa. Thank you so much, Amina. And I will see you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>